Okay, we love what's good. Uh, this Tuesday morning, we're going to head to Pensacola, Florida to highlight a high school student turning a class assignment into a project making a big impact for students in need. Ella Jane Hoffmaster is a member of the Student Government Association at Booker T. Washington High School. One of her assignments was to come up with an idea that really worked on the act of kindness, right? So 60% of the students at Ella Jane School live below the poverty line. And she decided to start a kindness corner with different hygiene products in it and school supplies where students would just come and take whatever they needed. A no questions asked. And Ella Jane and her Student Government Association sponsor, Pam Hicks, are joining us live from Pensacola this morning. Ella Jane, how'd you come up with the idea? So one day when I was on vacation, I saw a wooden box similar to the Little Free Libraries and, and it was filled with canned food items. So I thought it'd be interesting to do that with hygiene products. A few years later in SGA, Mrs. Hicks gave us an assignment to write a paper about a random act of kindness we could do. And I immediately thought about the box I saw filled with canned food items. So I wrote about the kindness shelf and I asked them like, hey, can we like actually do this? I think this would be really cool. And she was immediately super supportive of the idea. And now we're here. I, I love the hygiene products because I think for a lot of people, they think of school supplies, they think of backpacks. You know, we see lots of drives for those kinds of things, but it's those personal items that can give a child confidence and to make them feel like they're like human uh, that we sometimes overlook. Mrs. Hicks, how does it feel to make you uh, see that one of your students is actually making a real world impact? Oh, it's great. Um... The nice thing is that this is something, which you said just a moment ago, that is not emphasized. We make sure kids have food and we make sure they have school supplies, but to a teenager, the more important thing is their shampoo, mm -hmm. their face wash and deodorant. Right. That's more important to them. Yeah, it's so true. You know, is that, can they do their hair? Do they have hair gel, you know, at mm -hmm. home or, or hair products that they need? Ella. I, I know that you did this as a project, but word had to have gotten out uh, among the school that there was this kindness uh, project that you were doing and that students were actually receiving the kindness. So what has that response been like? The response has been really overwhelming and we've been so privileged to have our community be so supportive. It started off with us kind of running a little bit low on funds to do this. And I'm like, oh no, how am I gonna keep it going? So I wrote something on Facebook. I tagged my parents in it. And I'm like, I need help to do this. And we were really lucky and the community reached out and we received many donations. Many people reshared the post and it led us to being here. And Mrs. Hicks, I understand Ella Jane actually has somebody else assigned to take this over when she graduates. Well, we are going to have to, we, we, we haven't made a decision yet, but somebody will. Now she's got one more year. <laughs> and she's going to train another student in SGA to take it over. That's teaching accountability, responsibility, real world leadership. I love this. I know you're proud. I know I'm sure the parents are just ecstatic. Have parents, Mrs. Hicks, been responsive as well? Oh, yes. Um, parents are um, the, the parents that I've had contact with are not the parents of the kids that receive, but the parents of the kids that give. Um, students that are not in my student government, their mothers have have sent in boxes of items. Uh, we've had former graduates who, who are much older that I've never met that have stopped by the front office and they've <laughs> given items. They've given I boxes love it. Of this is so cool. Yeah. Ella Jane and Mrs. Hicks, I know we're out of time, but thank you so much for being with us. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.